to some mayhem with the latest out of Virginia. Governor Ralph Northam, he's speaking out about the political chaos that has gripped his state and about his own political future. Chief National Affairs Correspondent Tom Yamas is here with more. Good morning, Tom. Michael, good morning to you. Governor Northam is reportedly reading Roots, and he plans on having conversations about race throughout the state and isn't going anywhere. But as he attempts his first steps into asking for forgiveness, already a slight stumble. This morning, Virginia's governor, Ralph Northam, breaking his silence, refusing calls to resign, but admitting he thought about leaving office. Yes, I have thought about resigning, but, but I've also thought about what Virginia needs right now. And I, I really think that I'm in a position where, where I can take Virginia to the next level. And, and but critics say even now in his first TV interview since his scandal rocked Richmond, the governor still sounds out of touch. Just 90 miles from here, uh, in 1619, the first uh, indentured servants from Africa landed on our shores in Old Point Comfort, what we call now Fort Monroe. And while also known as slavery, yes, yeah, yeah. and you know while we have made a lot of progress uh, in in Virginia, slavery has ended. Schools have been desegregated. We have ended the Jim Crow laws. Uh, easier access to voting. Uh, it is abundantly clear that we still have a lot of work to do. His problem started with this racist photo from his medical school yearbook page. Northam claims he's neither of those two men, but did admit to appearing once in blackface. Complicating matters, shortly after Northam's admission, Virginia's lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax, now accused by two women of sexual assault, which he denies. Political science professor Vanessa Tyson said Fairfax forced her to perform a sex act in 2004. Meredith Watson says Fairfax sexually assaulted her while both were students at Duke University in 2000. If these uh, accusations are determined to be true, I don't think he's going to have any other option but to resign. Now, both women accusing Fairfax say they will testify if there's an impeachment hearing. Fairfax is denying the accusation, saying both encounters were consensual. He's also calling on the FBI to investigate. And guys, actually, this morning, there's a new development. There was a delegate who had called for impeachment. He was going to introduce articles of impeachment this morning. He's gone back and now announced that after hearing feedback from his colleagues, he's not going to do that. He's reversed course. I think a lot of delegates want an investigation first outside of the, of the Senate and House chambers. Right, and then there, those results will be brought to them later. Okay, okay Tom. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.